we took a trip to the Canaveral National Seashore. It's most commonly known as Turtle Mound, but to be honest, Turtle Mound is only a small part of the entire national park there. And this is the northern part, south about, I don't know, 10 minutes south of the last really cool beach entrance into New Smyrna. Uh, the one with the basketball horse is the one everybody really enjoys. Not, not Bethune North there. Um, it's awesome. We went on a day where we could not get a parking spot at any of the beaches in New Smyrna and literally found this beach completely abandoned and completely awesome all at the same time. You see, a uh, wife and kid decided to uh, dig a ditch. They were going to bury daddy in the sand uh, up to my neck. And she worked really, really hard to me on uh, getting this dug. So I couldn't do anything. I had to get down in the sand, even though I really didn't want to get down in the sand. And I tried to talk Liz into it, but she, when she laid down in it, she's like, no, 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 daddy. So it was definitely my tomb. And then when I got in there, she tortured me, <laughs> as you can see. But even with the sand torture, it still was a great time to be had there at uh, Turtle Mound or Pier 4 of the Canaveral National Seashore. There's a lot to see. If you're really into nature, every living thing is out and about. Beautiful plants, flora and fauna. If you got a boat, I'm telling you, the Banana River side of this little complex is amazing and great places to launch your boat. I'll tell you something, if you ever get a chance to visit, uh, the National Parks here has a ton of programs, if you check it out on their website, that will teach you all about the area. I mean, they go on these little tours, they teach you how to go clamming, they teach you how to crab. I mean, literally everything you can think about um, throughout the entire year. From winter to summer i mean there's just things you can do at certain times of the year and they are all about it and it's completely free so if you got a big family and you got a trip and you're heading to the beach and you're thinking about daytona new smyrna try the canaveral national seashore um they also have one north of coco as well um in titusville which is the i think the main interest is the one where you can actually go to apollo beach and all those beaches but i will warn you that those beaches are very very popular with the nudists so if you got little ones and you don't want to, have to explain the birds and the bees you might want to stick to the northern sides or any of the really populated areas to be completely honest because they don't really go out of control it's really illegal but most of the time you're in the national park uh the county will leave you alone but as you can see, there's two sides of this little peninsula, and the western side is uh, bordering the Banana River, and it is awesome. Great, great sunsets. Um, my camera was doing weird things that day, so I couldn't get some really good ones, but I got as many as I could to show you guys how awesome it is there at Turtle Mountain. Thanks for watching Natural Florida, and I hope to see you soon.